hey guys I know this is not like the normal like Sunday vlog um, with like coupons and stuff but we just took a walk um, probably like a couple blocks no it's gotta be it's gotta be close to like 30 blocks or something um, <laughs> she's trying to push the, the little bike that I brought on you need to stay here okay um, I just came over to the cemetery here. Um, she's like, Molly, stay here, please. Which is like 30 blocks away. It's crazy. But we just took a nice long walk. Um, that's why I'm a little sweaty and a little out of breath. Molly, you need to stay here, please. Don't touch it. She's trying to touch the American flag that's over here. Um, but I'm sitting at my dad's mom and grandfather's headstone grave here um i honestly don't know who they are like i've never met them um i all i know is stories that i've heard um i really don't want to cry because i feel like i do every time i talk about this like talk about them because i feel i feel like i, I want to know them like i wanted to meet them and stuff but if um if they wouldn't have passed i wouldn't have known my grandparents today but i still wish i would have known them um and i know they meant a lot to my dad see i don't want to cry um but like if you, since you guys don't know my dad was adopted like four or five times or something this is the mom that he's known like he considered like his real mom because his real mom died when he was like Molly stay here please when he was like four or something Molly stay here please Molly Lynn come here please she's trying to run away um but he's considered her I'm not gonna show you the name because it has a last name um but um she he considers her like his real mom because she was alive till he was like 15 or something like that um molly lynn come here that was a big b no she's trying to pull stuff off people's graves here um, and then he talks about his pap all the time. That's why he likes to be called pap. Um, but my dad has told me this story about their, their deaths. Um, she died of cancer. And then I think he said like, um, like three weeks to the day later, um, her, her father died, which was his pap. Um, and they said they don't know why he passed away, but, um, my dad said all he kept telling him was what's the purpose of living without my daughter you know because that was like his whole world and my dad said he pretty much died of a broken heart so molly lynn please stay here all right i think i need to go and get her but we're just sitting here spending some time with them since it's a beautiful day outside and then we're gonna head home finish couponing give her a nap eat some lunch and then go out to cvs and I may take you guys along. Plus, I'm pretty sure I got sick. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can probably hear it in my voice. But that's no fun before I go to the beach. I mean, really. <laughs> but I'm going to go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little tidbit um, of us out here at the cemetery site. And um, I will see you guys once we head out to CVS. Um, yeah, so yeah. Yes. We make up a watermelon today. Hmm? We make up a watermelon today. <laughs> We're on our way to CVS, guys. Take my glass off for a second. We're on our way to CVS. We couponed. Ian, did you grab the spreadsheet? Yes, I did. Okay, she did a spreadsheet again this morning um, to help out and like make it easier to, um, like, you know what I'm trying to say, like easier to find things, I guess. Um, so I don't know if we'll, like, vlog anything inside the store today, but definitely show you the haul, like always, 
and I hope that it's all good deals and then we have Rite Aid to go to yet which I may end up just doing myself because we have a lot of stuff we have to get done this week before um, we go to the beach. Last It's the last countdown to the beach, Mom. I'm so ready. We've been looking at going to a lighthouse, um, like on a ferry boat thing. We're thinking about it. What do we do if I reserve it and it rains? Yeah. We'll get that money back. And you can't just like go like you can't go another day. It's only one day. No, but I'm saying like, can you not like just go and like grab your tickets that day? We can try it. We can try. I mean, we could always day. just go and do the round trip and just walk over there too if we wanted to. We don't necessarily have to do the the trolley thing, but we're still trying to get the last minute plans together. You know, guys, how that goes. And yeah, obviously you guys will be going with us but it'll just be like a little bit behind because I'm not really going to edit anything there I don't think so yeah what's my hair doing <laughs> crazy but yeah so I will see you guys either at CBS or back at the house when we do our little haul hey guys so we just got back from CBS and I don't think I'm going to do a haul today <sighs> I'm really I'm really upset about like what happened today. We had a new person check us out and I believe she's one of like the managers or like owners or something. Um, she did something completely wrong and we ended up spending like $20 more than we're supposed to, which I'm really pissed about. So is my mom because it seems like she didn't give us credit for our extra bucks. It looks like she just kind of took them off as coupons. And it didn't take off the total amount that we were supposed to because we were only supposed to end up paying like a dollar something for everything. And then I added in one thing that was two dollars and we got something else that was four. So maximum, like most over is like ten. But, you know, it is what it is. But I'm just really upset that like... I told her, you know, I want to know what the total is before I do my extra bucks. Like, if you could just, like, tell me the total. Well, she's like, well, if I do that, then it'll clear me. It'll, like, um, total it. Then when you put the stuff through, it'll, like, bump everything. I don't have to do it all again or something like that. So, I'm like, bullshit. And, yeah. So, we ended up paying, like, $20 more than we were supposed to. And... I'm like not okay with that because we should have gotten credit for our extra bucks and I don't think we did neither does my mom so we're gonna go through and figure out like what the hell went wrong but just like a rough overview we have shave cream everything's still in the bags we have band deodorant we have skin to mitt shave cream Barbasol shave cream these things I thought are nifty they're these um, fitness compact tampons um, you buy Kotex these are pretty neat um, I usually use the super ones only because I can let them go a little bit longer. Do you know what I mean? Um, but the regular ones will be really good too. We have some L'Oreal shampoo. We have razors. Um, we also got all of our extra bucks back, which is good. But we still ended up paying like way too much. Um, we have Mitchum deodorant here. We have this... Um, I don't even know how to pronounce it. My mom keeps telling me, but renews it, I think. Garnier shampoo conditioner. We have three cans of SpaghettiOs, which I believe I'm having for dinner tonight. Um, because I just, I don't feel like cooking anything. Not, we don't really have anything in the house either, but. Um, oh, I could make my lettuce wraps. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I have Crest toothpaste. If you haven't already, go get your free Truly Radiant Arm & Hammer toothpaste. There's a coupon on CVS.com. We got puffs for Molly. We got a king-sized Reese's peanut butter cup, which I will be having. Yum. It's only 88 cents. And then we have my mom's L'Oreal hair expert and stuff color. But this should have only came up to be a total of like maybe $8 after extra bucks, after coupons, after everything like that. And we still should have had like at least 30 extra bucks left over. And she screwed us in. I told my mom, there's the one old guy that I walk in, I see him, I'm like, nope. And now if I walk in and see her, I'm like, nope. I don't want to do it. I don't want to deal with it. This is ridiculous. Like, everybody else does it to where, like, you can, like, they'll total it, and then you can give them your extra bucks. And 
it's actually starting to become a pain I honestly don't even know if I want to continue doing this because this is like the third or fourth time that we've had this problem or like you know some kind of attitude problem and that's not really what I want to do like I want to enjoy couponing I want to enjoy going out and experiencing this and getting things for free or like 50 cents and stuff like that because I do give it to family I do give it to friends I mean I don't know let me know if you have any have had any bad experiences with couponing and stuff like that so yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow, Monday, for a new vlog.